Hi everyone, this is Dawn with DEK Designs and I'm here to do a special plan with me. This week um, we're doing a collaboration with some of our team members using the kit Province. I will have all of their YouTube channels listed in the description below and you can see how everyone plans a little different and everyone's style is different, everyone's layout and how they organize stuff is different and so we did a special collab so that you can go and look and see if one of the styles is maybe your groove and what would work for you and I'm really excited to do this for our viewers. I think it'll um, help a lot to see how the possibilities are endless and there's no right way or wrong way to plan. It's whatever works for you. So without further ado, I am going to be planning um, the week of April 27th in my Aurora Estelle A5 Weekly Classic. And so let's just hop right into it. So we're going to start with Monday the 27th, and I'm just going to start with just putting my days of the week down. There are columns in this planner. Um, they are not one and a half inch wide. They're a lot larger than that, so I just kind of center my dates in the middle. I really adore this kit and it's making me very excited for spring to get here. We've been really cold. We had an ice stream, um, an ice storm last week. And yeah, I'm like over winter. <laughs> I'm sure most of you are as well. So I am going to do, I think I have, I want to put a February overlay and I'm looking to see, I apologize, I thought I had everything ready and I don't. So, um, I'm just going to look through these stickers that I have here because I thought I had some ready to go. And I don't, so we're just gonna do it the, the way I did last week with putting this, centering this, and then using a this week header. Now let's go with this lighter. Okay. And let's get some of the washi down. So I'm going to start with this colorful washi. And I'm going to alternate it. And I'm using the strips that are cut specifically to size. So um, what I'll do is I'll put a deco piece in those corners there. So I have um, really been actually enjoying using this planner, but I still do miss my Hobonichi cousin. So that probably will get added to the lineup this year. Um, let's see. I will start with a 
full box up here and I am going to align it with this. And um, let's do the seam here. It's very um, vineyard looking. Emily actually got engaged, proposed to at a vineyard this last year. And that was really awesome. I think I want to use this box here. Kind of right there. Well, that might be too. Let's go up a little more so I just have room to put a header. And let's do this right about here. And something in the corner here. Let's do the bike. I think I'm going to move it up because the deco might be a little bit big. Let me see what does our deco look like. I'm going to, okay, line it up with the washi because there's enough small pieces that I'll make something work over there. Okay, let's go to the next. Put this down. I do tend to use all 10 boxes in my spread. So those eight are gone, and I have one more, and I'm just gonna put it down here. Okay, then I like to put um, glitter headers or scallops, and let's just roll with the glitter. So there's no really, as you can see, I just kind of, there's no set columns. I just kind of free plan for the overview. Um, don't, this is really the only column that I set in stone on a line. You don't always have to stay in the lines, right? So I kind of like it that way. Okay. Let's put them down here. I'm going to use the same color on this since it's a seam. So it's matchy matchy. There's no room for a header there, but I'll put one underneath here. And let's just finish off our sidebar here. I want to do meals. And I use our Monday through Sunday for that. Crooked. Okay, and then I am going to do my um, tracker that I use for sleep. So these were actually included. They, they're in the shop, but we actually also included these in with the uh, sub box this month. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
take Boo's head off and put the sleeping head on there. So then I know it's for my sleep. So put that over there. And I want it to line up so it's right here. Let's get it straight. And I'm going to put just a circle behind this so Boo's head is on something. And we're going to use the little sleeping Boo here. Voila! So you can track sleeping or um, uh, I don't know, you know, moods, anything really. You can use the neutral face or you can use one of these others. And of course you have all these to put in the rest of your planner to note how you were feeling that day. Okay, and I'm fine with a little bit of white space this there. I think it looks great. So I'm gonna put something down in here just because the washi is short because I used the short strips and I didn't feel like necessarily, um, you know, I could have taken these and cut them and attached them onto there to make it. Let me show you here what I could have done. And maybe I still will do that. But you can, depending on your planner, if you need a longer strip, you can just put this and connect it in. I think that looks better connected in like that. And put that little thing. Um, so I can do the same over here with, um, what I tore off from the other page. And then I'll still have my strips here if I want to use somewhere in the spread. So let me just get this up and we'll put it underneath it. And you don't have to worry if the edge is not cut exactly right. So I'm just going to line it up. And there you have it. Voila! I hope that's in frame. I really hope that was in frame. <laughs> okay, so it's all lined up. And then we have that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of my boxes in and checklists. And I'm going to do a to-do checklist probably like right here. Well, that kind of, I'm going to do it over here because then I got more writing room. will be a little matchy-matchy on this. And I will put one over here to do, let's do this color. I'm going to use a box over here. And then a another to do over here. So I have 3 of them. We'll go with this color. I'm gonna throw some boxes and I like to use my boxes to kind of 
mark something important that happened that day just to kind of let it stand out. I know Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, we need to mail, we're working on getting them done, our um, mystery kits out. And let's see, I need one, another box up here. And the beauty about kind of everything kind of flowing um, is that you can mark something and it doesn't necessarily have to be done that day. Like if I mark that I'm going to ship the box out this day, but it doesn't happen until this day, it still kind of flows with the whole plan. That's in my mind. That's kind of how I, I'm thinking of it. Um, I'm going to use a couple of these. They're just a fun little extra. And I might write something there or put a mood in there or something. Or even an icon. And I want to mark here to make sure to water my plants. And I have a little plant right here. Here, use one of these appointment labels, and I think that is looking really good so far. I will come back and put deco on that. Okay, let's do our checklist first. Let's put one right here. Definitely another one on Sunday. I'm going to put it down here. So I'm going to go ahead and put my weekend flags and banner in up here. And I'm just going to kind of center it between this area right here. So if you have a Erin Condren or a Happy Planner or anything that has one and a half inch columns with a little bit of a gap in it, these fit perfectly across those two columns to use your weekend script over the top if you want. Okay, so I'm just going to put that right over the top. I think that is gorgeous. <laughs> okay. Let's see, we need some half boxes or quarter boxes. I'm just kind of scattering them, them within the spread. are plenty of them to do a week for myself. Um, 
I think there's plenty of them. go see a movie and by go see I just mean in my living room Saturday night I would like my husband and I to watch a movie so I'm going to put a label down there and put the popcorn icon and then I'll come back and mark what movie we watched on Netflix or Amazon video or something like that I'm going to use some of these I love using these Kind of scatter a few. Okay. I am going to run the washi. The darker thin washi strip up the side of my bar here. I think I left enough room, it'll fit exactly. Oh, it does. And I'm just gonna run it to the top of the this week to make it kind of look framed and so that's something new this week that I, <laughs> new little twist I haven't done that before so okay and I think I would I can't do it over here because I didn't leave enough room but I'll have to remember that next time because I do like the look of that a lot of times I use these strips for like a reoccurring task that's gonna happen over these four days or you know these three okay let's add some of our fun deco in oh let's put the date dots down first okay so Monday is the 27th and then the first Deco time. We have the bike over here, so let's see if this will look good up over here. I think it does. Put the bike there. Maybe a little heart right here. This wreath. So it's really pretty. And then I'll just cut the top. Looks like um, one of those wicker wreaths. That's kind of what the artwork looks like. Oops. So our sticker paper we found um, and we ordered special direct from the manufacturer 
and um, it is very forgiving when it comes to lifting it up off of the paper. Even days after on the Tomo River paper, it'll come up. Let me just show you an example. It's not so good on top of other stickers, but um, let me just show you. This has been down for like a week, so it'll still come right up. So if you need to press firmly once you have it laid down because it is made to come easily up off the paper. so it's so fun to be creative it's just a it's just a great outlet for me to be creative and also it be useful so that you can be more productive and not forget stuff <laughs> There's just a lot of deco. I will definitely have enough pieces to do my overview. So I think that is all of the main kit. There's the deco left and then the two pieces of washi. I have all these boxes left. And I didn't do my other two habit trackers this week. I just went with simple. Uh, the dates and the other boxes. I still have some checklists left, lots of headers, and the scallops and the washi. So I'm going to throw a couple Emma's in. And this is my reusable sticker book. And I thought there was a cutting sticker that I had. Um, oh no. I'm gonna be cutting all day, Sunday and uh, Monday. Sorry guys, I should have been a little more prepared. Okay, I'm just gonna go with her by the computer. And I'm gonna use the one that has the little accents of purple. And put her right there. And then I need to start on some sub box stuff. Wednesday after the mystery kit goes out. And I know I want to make some new scripts for the shop that say um, plan, film, edit, upload, kind of a YouTuber type um, script, functional scripts. Okay, I don't think, I, don't, I need to put, wash my hair down. Should I put 
put it there or should I put it there? Um, I'm gonna put it right here. Okay. And we have another um, adverse weather can weather coming in, so I'm gonna put snowflakes down, even though this is a springy kit. I'm gonna put that right there. So I think that's everything, guys. Um, I hope I was in frame. And this is my week of February 27th in my Aurora Still A5 vertical. I hope you enjoyed it, this plan with me. And make sure you check out the other team members that are participating in this plan with me collaboration and see how they use the kit. See if there's something that inspires you to put down in your plans to make you more productive, to reach a goal. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so and like this video. I hope you have a wonderful week. Stay safe, sane, and well planned. Bye.